in a serene corner of the countryside, nestled among lush greenery, a mother duck anxiously awaited the arrival of her ducklings. The pond, a mirror to the sky, reflected the warm hues of dawn as the first eggs began to crack. One by one, the eggs revealed tiny balls of fluff, each chirping joyfully. Yellow and brown, they paddled close to their mother, except for one egg, larger and still unbroken, lying quietly in the nest. With a perseverance that stirred the morning air, the last egg finally cracked open, unveiling a duckling unlike the others. This one was larger, with grey feathers that seemed to cast a shadow of difference. The pond welcomed its new inhabitants with gentle ripples. As they took their first swim, the uniqueness of the large grey duckling became the talk of the pond. Not all whispers kind. Days passed and the teasing grew. Why are you so big and grey? The siblings would quack, laughter echoing off the water's surface, leaving ripples of hurt behind. Under the moon's soft glow, Mother Duck nestled her ducklings. To the one who was different, she whispered, Beauty is found in the heart, my child, not in the reflection on the pond. Feeling like an outcast, the grey duckling decided under a starlit sky that it was time to find a place where he could belong. With a heavy heart, he left the only home he'd ever known. His journey was long, through fields ablaze with the gold of autumn and forests whispering secrets of courage. The duckling, fueled by hope, pressed on. In a marsh alive with the chorus of frogs, wild ducks took flight at his approach. You are too ugly to stay here, they squawked leaving him alone once more. Winter's chill led him to a humble cottage, where an old woman took him in. Though she was kind, her cat and hen mocked his dreams of becoming beautiful. Realising this was not his place either, the duckling escaped one moonless night, yearning for freedom and a sense of belonging. Winter grew harsher, imprisoning the lake in ice. The duckling, caught by its cold embrace, struggled until a farmer freed him, showing kindness in a world that seemed void of it. As snow melted, revealing the first whispers of spring, the duckling marvelled at the beauty of the world reborn. With each day, he felt a change within, a burgeoning hope. Upon a crystal clear lake, he saw his reflection. No longer was he the grey, awkward bird, but a magnificent swan, his feathers a cascade of white that glowed under the sun. Gliding into the water, he approached a group of swans, heart pounding with fear of rejection, yet they welcomed him as one of their own, a family he had never known. As he swam among them, Admiration in their eyes, the swan understood that true beauty and strength lie in embracing one's uniqueness, a lesson learned through trials. With newfound confidence, the swan returned to the pond of his birth, where once he had felt only pain. The animals gasped, how beautiful he is. Mother Duck, tears in her eyes, recognised her son. I always knew your heart was beautiful, she said, pride resonating in her voice. As the swan shared his journey, the pond's inhabitants listened, a silence filled with the weight of understanding. Never judge another for their appearance, for true beauty unfolds in time. The pond celebrated the swan's return and his tale of transformation a reminder of love's power to see beyond the surface. And there, amid laughter and song, the swan found not just acceptance, but a home.